Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. I'm so happy you're here today, this Sabbath morning. Let's just start singing this morning what the clock says. Um, this is what the clock says, tick tock, tick tock. Let's find our sticks in our baskets so we can just play them while we sing song number one. I'm so happy to see you. And you know what, boys and girls? The, um, song number two, I love that Jesus loves you. And it mentions uh, children's names. So um, let's sing song number two. And let's use uh, Elena and then the David and Susie. Okay? Let's sing that one. I love that song. And Jesus loved Elena and David and Susie and all the boys and girls. That's right. Now, boys and girls, I love Jesus so much. I want to sing all day. Let's find our rainbows and let's sing, Oh, How I Love Jesus. Song number three. And you know what, boys and girls? It is time to gather our offerings. So let's bring our offerings and put them in our basket while we sing song number four. God loves a cheerful giver. God loves a cheerful Oh, that's better. <laughs> Let's, I know. All right, would you like to just bring them to the offer, to our uh, basket, and then we can have a prayer and thank Jesus for our offering. Let's kneel down while we sing, um, while we get ready for our prayer. Would you like to just kneel with me?
Would you the girls like to pray with me? Okay. Elena, would you like to come and pray? Um, would you like to pray? Yes. Okay. Let's see. All right. Let's move on. Let's pray to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. and girls. Good morning, boys and girls. Today, it's a beautiful day in a summer day to go and visit the beach and learn about all the things that Jesus made that lives there. Now, boys and girls, um, help me um, in the morning uh, when the sun is coming up. We are excited to get ready to go. So, will you please help me to say our poem, um, the, when the sun rises, let's say it's on, uh, the point number six. <sighs> now keep your eyes on the sun and make sure that the sun is going up. Good morning, Mr. Sun. So bright and round and bright, shine in the morning, shine all day, make everything pretty and light. Is the sun up? The sun is up already. Yes, and this is going to be a nice, warm, beautiful day to go to visit the beach. So we are putting everything in our car and our towels and, and coolers with some cool water to drink while we're at the beach. And we get in our car and we get on a bit the steering wheel and let's pretend that we are going to drive to the beach on Sabbath morning. So let's see. See, this is how you pretend we're going to drive to the beach. Let's sing song number seven. and girls we arrive to the beach and the beach is so big look can you see the beach the sand the trees the water oh it makes me like I want to go on a nice boat ride to the ocean to see to spend some time over there so um, when we arrive to the beach we listen to the ocean he has a special sound and you just have to listen to it and it sounds so good did you hear that oh those are waves she jumped right <laughs> oh it's the ocean waves and the water comes and splash on the sand. Oh, lots of people are just likes to get on the shade and go to sleep listening to the ocean. Sounds so good. And other boys and girls like to get on a boat and go into the ocean. Let's do that this morning while we sing song number eight. We can just jump in our boat and go into our ocean. 
Thank you. Okay. Olive is ready to come. Elena, would you like to come? Yes, you can come this way, and you on that one, and we can just, we'll sing song number eight together. like to get on the boat. You want to come in the boat? Yes? All right. All of you can stay if you want. We have a space for all this bunch of girls. Cora, would you like to come in the boat? Yes? Let's put you right here beside sister. No, thank you for coming. Enjoy that, right? Let me help you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Now, let's see. <laughs> oh, when we spend some time at the ocean, we can see that the ocean is big. It's wide. You look and look and you don't see the other end. And it's also very, very deep and lots of animals live in there. Uh, that reminds me of a song that we love to sing. Let's sing deep and wide and let's use our arms to go for the deep and the wide, okay? Let's sing song number nine. especially when I can get to hear boys and girls singing in Sabbath school. It's so special. Now, boys and girls, we spend all this time in the ocean, and we come close to the, to the shore, and you know what? It's all full of sand. Have you ever played with the sand, touch the sand? Oh, let me tell you, sand is really nice to play in, and, and you can rub your fingers, would you like to come and try it? Come and touch the sand while we sing song number 10. Oh 
girls really like to play with the sand. Oh, yes, that's good. Yeah, you can just wipe it like that. Thank you so much. It looks like fun. You girls were really playing hard on the sand. Now, when we play with the sand, like Olive and, and Aurelia was doing and Cora, they rub your feet fingers right on the sand and you play with it and you know what while you're doing that many times you find seashells and we love to collect seashells now boys and girls let's pick up our seashells um with our buckets while we sing song number 11. Oh, it's a little bit of sin, right? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. Let's see, Cobra. Wow, Cobra, you got all those. That's a lot, a lot of seashells. Um, and they, it's so much fun just to be playing in the sand and gathering all the seashells. And you did so good. Now, sometimes when we are playing with them, we occasionally find a seashell very special special seashell they are called oysters let me show you one let me show you one it comes as a shell they're close all together two of them close together and when you open them you find a pretty pearl inside Jesus helps the, uh, the oysters to make these pearls inside. They are so beautiful. Now, boys and girls, you can bring your leader, um, oyster shells, um, your pearls to, uh, to my bucket over here while we sing song number 12. They are 
are so beautiful and only Jesus can do something this beautiful. Now, boys and girls, you know, the ocean has a lot of animals that live, uh, they live in the water right underneath the sea. And um, we would like to discover what are those. So if you would like, the teacher's going to give you a felt animal that you can bring into our felt board. And if you would like to go to the extreme, you can wear your goggles that are in your basket. Put them on and you can swim all the way to our felt board and bring a animal that lives in the sea. Let's sing song number 13. Some of you were discovering what it looks like from wearing goggles. It looks a little bit different, right? Oh, boys and girls, you did so good. And what do I find in the fill board? I find a pretty fish that lives in the sea. What else do we find? Ooh. Swordfish. Yes, good job. This is a swordfish. They are beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And we also find things like this. Stingray. Stingray. Uh-huh. They all live underneath the sea. And the biggest of all. Whales. Yes, the whales are the biggest of all. They are big, 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 big. And you know what, boys and girls? Here on Earth, I cannot really climb on one of them because they are kind of very big and very far away. But I really would love to ride one of those when I get to heaven. Would you like to do something like that? Yes, that would be a lot of fun. Now, let's pretend we are going to ride on our whale. Um, yes, and let's, let's just start at this end. You girls can take turns or come together. That will be fine. Let's sing song number 14 while we ride our whale. Oh, both of you want to come together, that's great. I think I'm going to put this one like this now because, because, um, let's see, Olive, would you like to come over here? <gasps> oh, Do you want to come and no whoosh? That would be fine. You want to come with mommy? Yeah, mommy can bring you and no whoosh. No. Okay. Maybe, maybe at the end she, she may change her mind. What about you, Elena? Are you ready to come? Yes. I know. Maybe next Sabbath? That would be fine. These whales are very big and being in the ocean, when they blow, they sense a whoosh of water in the air. So much fun. Now the ocean has the big, big whale and also have itty bitty fish. Uh -huh. All sizes, all kinds. Now you have some fish in your basket that you can come 
and bring it over here while we sing song number 15. Yeah, those like that. They can swim in the water. Now, boys and girls, there is a special kind of fish that looks, oh, I forgot the picture. It is called the seahorse. And the seahorse, let me show you how I remember that I have one right here. Um, look, boys and girls. Aha! And look. He has an interesting body, and with the tail, they like to just curl that like this on a plant, and that's how they stay right there. They don't go anywhere. And they swim like this with their belly up like this. Oh, very interesting. So they are called seahorses. Look at their faces. It looks like a little face of a horse, right? Oh, they are so beautiful and so good. Now, boys and girls, you have some felt seahorses in your baskets. You can bring them to our felt board while we sing song number 16. There's another very interesting animal that lives in the sea, and they are called an octopus. Let me show you a picture of an octopus. There's right here one. The octopus have many, many legs. And when they are in the ocean, the legs are moving like this everywhere. They look very nice. It's a chat wait. It's a very gentle, gentle animal. And um, even the octopus under the sea, um, it is very, very kind. So, would you like to pet an octopus? I have an octopus. Uh huh. They can camouflage. They can camouflage. That is correct. Yes. Yes, you see, you also had to, to say, tell me the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. Now, boys and girls, would you like to pet the octopus? I have a one that I like to carry, and um, you can see it while we sing song number 17. Octopus, they are so kind and so sweet, just in the water. Now, boys and girls, look at this one. This is a real one. It's a starfish. 
Yes! Don't you think it looks just like the stars in the sky? Yes! Except that this one is way down in the water. Yes, and we call them starfish. They are beautiful. Now, help me count the legs that the starfish has. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. They have five legs. Now, boys and girls, you have some in your basket, some starfish. Would you please bring them to our fail board while we sing song number 18? They are so beautiful, beautiful. Now, boys and girls, there, there's a lot, a lot of many, many more animals that live under the sea. Big fish, little fish, all kinds of fish. But if you come out to, from the water into the beach, we also hear a different sounds. What would they possibly be? <gasps> Can you hear that? That could be dolphins. But look! We got seagulls! Lots of seagulls! Oh, the seagulls are flying right over looking at the water. Oh, that's a pretty song for Jesus from the seagulls, right? Oh, I love to hear that. Now, boys and girls, would you like to pretend to be a seagull for a little bit? You can fly high like the seagulls do. You can fly low like the seagulls do. Would you like to do that? You can stand up and come with me and fly in Sabbath school classroom like a seagull. Let's sing song number 19. like a seagull. Now, boys and girls, as another kind of bird that lives in the beach is the pelican. Look, Mr. Pelican likes to visit us today. And Mr. Pelican has a beautiful body and look that beak. See that? It's very long. That's the bird. Uh -huh. And on the bottom? He's very soft, and when he's flying and he sees a fish, he comes and zoop, gets that fish on the inside and carries that fish all the way to his house, somewhere else. And they like to do that all day. You can see them at the beach, the pelicans um, looking for fish. Now, boys and girls, I'm going to put our pelican right over here. And um, uh, poor pelican. Um, teacher is going to give you a fish that you can come and feed it to our, um, our um, pelican while we sing song number 19.
of yes that that pelican will happily eat all that later on i'm telling you boys and girls i love the beach and i think that some of you also like the beach and you know what i'm thankful for god for all the things that he made in the beach and he cares for them let's sing song number 21 and we can use our rainbows to sing god made our wonderful sea ready boys and girls God made a wonderful sea, God made a wonderful sea, He made all the shells, He made all the fish, God made a wonderful sea, God made a wonderful sea, God made a wonderful sea. God made our wonderful sea. It has been a long day and it's getting late and I'm getting hungry. I think it is time to go home, boys and girls. So we pack everything back in our cars real fast so we can just get on the car and drive away. Now as we're driving away, you keep your eyes on that sun and if you see if the sun comes down. Let's sing song number 22 while we're looking at the sun. dark and we finish our day but you know what boys and girls we are ready now for our story time we have a beautiful story today so let's sing song number 25 what we get ready for our story time Boys and girls, the story today is from a long, long time ago. And there once was a man, and his name was Jacob. And Jacob had a wife, and her name was Rachel. And you know, one day they had a baby. And you know what they named him? They named him Joseph. And his name was Joseph. And he grew and grew and grew. And he would get, when he became a boy, you know what? He would play with the sheep. When his dad was looking after the sheep, he would go out and play with them. And as they were getting, he was getting older, he would then, it was his job to take care of the sheep. And he would take them and he would find them special places to eat grass and drink water and oh he had so much fun doing that well one day as all the time when they're sheep they have to sh what they say shear the sheep 
they have to take and they have to cut the the wool off the sheep. Otherwise, they get too hot. You know how in Texas it's really hot and muggy right now? Well, that's the way it was. So what they would do is they would they would take the sheep and they would oh, let me get some cotton out here. Okay, they would take the sheep the sheep and they wouldn't hurt the sheep, but they would trim and they would trim. And you see, they would cut all the wool off of the sheep. And that what they would take that wool, and you know what they would do with it? They, they would color it, yes, but they would make clothes, they make shirts, and they make pants, and blankets, and things like that. But one day, Joseph's father, Jacob, said, you know what? I am going to do something special for my boy, Joseph. And he took some of the wool that he had gotten, and we're going to just come over here, and we're going to... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's okay. Can you hold that, Miss Cora, for just a moment? Just hold it there. Thank you. Okay. We're going to take the lid off of these things so they don't get... Don't spill. Okay. Okay. And you know what they would do? They would... He would dip the wool... Wow, what? What color is that? Orange or yellow? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then he took another, some more wool. And what did he do? He dipped it in the other color. And what? And it came out and it was blue. Oh, yes. Oh, and we have one. Wow, we got some more. Okay. And so what did he do? He took and he dipped it in there again. And green. You see, that is wonderful colors. You know, and he took all that wool when it was all dyed and dried and things like that. And he worked and worked, and I wasn't able to bring it, but he had made a coat for Joseph. And it was a coat of many colors. A coat of many colors. And you know what? Joseph was so happy with his coat that he would walk around with it. But not everybody was happy. He had, who do you think these are? His brothers, yes. And they weren't so happy because he had a new coat of many colors. And they were jealous, exactly. But you know what? One day, we are going to go to heaven, and we are going to get a special gift from our Father. You know what he's going to give us when we get there? He's going to give us a crown. Whoa, with lots of jewels. And we will be his special children. Okay, so does anybody know their memory verse this week? Well, I can help you with that. It says, God cares for us. God cares for you. Yes, that's exactly right. So you know what, boys and girls? Let's go back to our seats so that we can finish Sabbath school and get ready to go to church. Oh, thank you. about Joseph and his special gift, his coat of many colors. Now, boys and girls, today is a special Sabbath in church, so I will invite you to all to stay in church. Lots of boys and girls will be going to sing for Jesus, and they're going to stage. So I invite you to stay so you can also sing with them and pray to Jesus. We love to do that. So we enjoy doing that on the Sabbath day, especially in church. So, boys and girls, I hope to see you again next Sabbath day. Don't forget that you have your stories at the desk, and you can take them home so you can practice your memory verse. And mom and dad can help you. 
and read the stories for you, and I'll see you next day, next Sabbath, okay? Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. It is time to say goodbye now, but first a prayer we pray. Dear Jesus, keep and bring us back again next Sabbath day. It is time to Sabbath, boys and girls.